With the need for testing greater than ever, UC Berkeley is working on a possible shortcut that saves time, money, and PPE. Uh, KPIX 5's Wilson Walker is live at Cal to show us how that works. Wilson? Yeah, Ken, you've seen the video. You might have heard a first-hand first -hand account of the swabbing, which is said to be a little bit uncomfortable. Well, here at Berkeley, they are trying something a bit less invasive. It's easier. We don't need we don't need trained healthcare providers to you know do the swabs. It can be done uh, in mass a bit more, and it scales a little bit easier. All you have to do is spit into a tube, and if the saliva test works, it could mean mass testing without the need for trained medical personnel and much of that scarce protective equipment. Less PPE, we can have people socially distanced, which is really important to protect uh, our, our personnel uh, that are helping with the testing. This is a trial program for people resuming work on campus, but it could be used for students returning in the fall. Saliva seems to be the, the, the most practical way to use some of these tools to, to monitor uh, employees coming back to work. It is also a trial run for the test itself, which is being used under an emergency approval. Researchers are still trying to nail down its reliability, which means any positive results here will be double checked. So as we're awaiting, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a clinical approval of this test, we have to make sure that all the positives and inconclusives are referred to a clinical test. Okay, how much coronavirus should be? in a positive patient's saliva. That's what they're trying to nail down, and that will lead to the eventual, uh, just the accuracy of the test. Now, if it works, this really could sort of be the holy grail for what people have been looking for. You could do it in your own home. You don't need a doctor. You could almost theoretically get the results right there. This would be down the road, assuming the test works. So a saliva test really would be a breakthrough and would eliminate a lot of the problems we have had with testing. The testing on the test is underway here at Berkeley. Live in Berkeley, Wilson Walker, KPX 5.